Remember that time you searched for something embarrassing online? Yeah, Google remembers too. And Facebook, they know what you had for breakfast yesterday, even if you didn't post it. Look, in the digital age, our every move is tracked, analyzed, and monetized. It's like living in a reality show where the audience is made up of corporations and governments. But hey, here's the kicker. We don't have to stand for it. We have the right to privacy, even in the digital world. It's about protecting our personal information, our online activities, and ultimately our freedom. Think about it. Would you walk around with your entire browsing history plastered on your forehead? Probably not. So why do we tolerate this level of surveillance online? It's time to take back control. It's time to reclaim our right to digital privacy. And luckily for you, there are tools to help us do just that. We're about to dive headfirst into the world of anonymous operating systems, your digital cloaking devices. Let's talk about going incognito, but like for real. Imagine an operating system, the brains of your computer designed specifically to protect your privacy. That's an anonymous operating system in a nutshell. These digital ninjas are engineered to make your online activities untraceable, masking your IP address and encrypting your internet traffic. Think of it like this. If a regular operating system is like driving a beat up old car with your name plastered on the side, an anonymous operating system is like cruising in an armored van with tinted windows and a rotating license plate. No one knows who's driving or where they're going. But how do they do it, you ask? Well, AOS achieve this anonymity through a combination of clever techniques. They route your internet traffic through a labyrinth of relays, making it nearly impossible to trace back to your computer. Plus, they often come preloaded with privacy-focused software like encrypted messaging apps and anonymous web browsers. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds complicated, but fear not, my privacy-conscious friend, because it's not as daunting as it seems. There are user-friendly AOS options out there, perfect for even the least tech-savvy among us. So buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to delve into two of the most popular anonymous operating systems, Tails and Wonix. First up, we have Tails, short for the Amnesiac Incognito Live System. Catchy, right? This bad boy is a portable operating system that you can run directly from a USB stick or DVD. That's right, no installation required. Just plug it in, boot up, and you're good to go, completely anonymous. But the best part about Tails, it's amnesiac. Once you shut down, Tails forgets everything, your browsing history, your files, everything. It's like it never even happened. This makes it perfect for situations where you need absolute privacy, like accessing sensitive information on a public Wi-Fi network or whistleblowing on your evil corporate overlords. And don't worry, Tails isn't just for hardcore activists and secret agents. It's incredibly user-friendly with a familiar desktop environment and pre-installed applications like the Tor browser, which bounces your internet traffic around the globe to keep your true location hidden. So. Whether you're a journalist protecting your sources, a citizen concerned about government surveillance, or just someone who values their privacy, Tails has got your back and your data. All right, are you ready to join the Tails revolution? Installing Tails is a breeze, even if you're technologically challenged. Here's a simplified guide to get you started. Step one, download Tails. Head over to the official Tails website and download the Tails image file. Make sure you verify the download using the provided instructions to ensure you're getting the real deal and not some shady imposter. Step two, get yourself a USB stick. Grab a USB stick that's at least eight gigabytes in size. Don't be stingy now, you'll need the space. Also make sure it's empty or back up any important files because we'll be wiping it clean. Step three, create a bootable USB drive. Now we need to put tails on that shiny new USB stick. You'll need a program called a USB image writer. Tails recommends one called Bellina Etcher, which is free and easy to use. Download it, install it, and follow the on-screen instructions to create your bootable Tails USB drive. Step 4. Boot from the USB drive. Plug your Tails USB drive into the computer you want to use. Now comes the fun part, restarting your computer and booting from the USB drive. This might require you to press a specific key during startup, usually F12 or ESC, so keep an eye out for any on-screen prompts. Step 5. Welcome to Tails. If everything went smoothly, you should now be greeted by the Tails welcome screen. Congratulations, you're officially running an anonymous operating system. See? Easy peasy. 
Now you can browse the web, send emails, and even watch cat videos with the peace of mind that your online activity is about as traceable as a snowflake in a blizzard. Section 5, Wunix OS double the VMs, double the protection. Now let's talk about Wunix, the operating system that takes anonymity to a whole new level. Unlike Tails, which is a live system, Wunix runs inside a virtual machine or VM. Think of a VM as a computer within your computer, completely isolated from your main operating system. It's like having a secret layer within your already secret layer. But here's where Wunix gets really interesting. It actually uses two virtual machines. One VM, called Wunix Gateway, routes all your internet traffic through the Tor network, ensuring your real IP address stays hidden. The other VM, Wonix Workstation, is where you actually do your work, browse the web, and generally live your best anonymous life. This two-pronged approach provides an extra layer of security. Even if by some miracle someone manages to compromise your Wonix Workstation VM, they still wouldn't be able to trace your activity back to your real IP address because everything is routed through the Torified Wonix Gateway. It's like trying to solve a mystery where the only clues are written in disappearing ink. Hoonix might sound a bit more complex than Tails, but trust me, it's worth the effort if you're serious about online anonymity. Plus, setting it up is easier than you might think. Section 6. Building Your Hoonix Fortress, A Step-by-Step -step Guide Ready to build your own Wonix Fortress of Solitude? Don't worry. You don't need to be a tech wizard to get this done. Just follow these simple steps. Step 1. Choose your weapon, which is your virtualization software. First things first, you'll need to choose a virtualization software to run your Wonix VMs. Two popular options are VirtualBox, which is free, and VMware, which is paid. Download and install your preferred software following the instructions provided. Step 2. Download Wonix images. Head over to the official Wonix website, that's www.wonix.org and download the Wonix Gateway and Wonix Workstation VM images. Make sure you're downloading from a trusted source and verify the images using the provided checksums. Safety first, folks. Step 3. Import and configure Wonix Gateway. Open up your virtualization software and import the Wonix Gateway VM image. Don't worry too much about the settings for now. The default configuration should work fine. Just make sure that the network setting is set to NAT or internal network. Step 4. Import and configure Hoonix Workstation. Repeat the same process for the Wonix Workstation VM image. Again, the default settings should be sufficient, but this time, set the network setting to internal network and select the Wonix Gateway VM as the network connection. Step 5. Start your engines. Start both VMs in order Wonix Gateway first, followed by Wonix Workstation. Once both VMs are up and running, you'll be greeted by the familiar Wonix desktop environment. Congratulations, you're now operating from within a virtual fortress of anonymity. Now go forth and browse the web with the confidence of a digital phantom. Just remember, anonymity doesn't make you invincible. Always practice safe browsing habits and be mindful of the information you share online. Section 7 Beyond Tales and Hoonix Exploring More Privacy-Focused Options while Tails and Wonix are the heavy hitters in the world of anonymous operating systems, they're not the only players in the game. If you're feeling adventurous and want to explore other options, here are a couple of privacy-focused alternatives. Cubes OS, the compartmentalized OS. Cubes OS takes a unique approach to security by compartmentalizing your digital life into isolated virtual machines called cubes. Think of it like having a separate computer for work, personal browsing, online banking, and everything else. This way, even if one cube is compromised, the others remain safe and sound. Discrete Linux, the lightweight option. Discrete Linux is a lightweight operating system designed to run from a USB drive, similar to Tails. It's known for its ease of use and minimal footprint, making it a good option for older computers or those with limited resources. These are just a few examples of the many privacy-focused operating systems available. Remember, the best OS for you will depend on your specific needs and technical expertise. So do your research, experiment with different options, and choose the one that makes you feel most comfortable and secure. Section 8. The Art of Invisibility – Essential Tips for Staying Anonymous Online so, you've installed an anonymous operating system. Congratulations, you're one step closer to becoming a digital ghost. But here's the thing. Anonymity is more than just using the right tools. 
It's about adopting the right mindset and habits. Here are a few essential tips to help you stay hidden in the digital shadows. Don't be a creature of habit. Avoid predictable patterns in your online activity. Mix up your browsing times, vary your online personas, and don't be afraid to go off the beaten path. Beware of phishing attacks. Be wary of suspicious emails, links, and attachments. Phishing attacks are a common way for attackers to bypass even the most secure systems. Keep your software updated. Regularly update your operating system and all software, especially your web browser and security tools. Software updates often include security patches that can help protect you from known vulnerabilities. Think before you click. Be mindful of the information you share online, even on seemingly harmless websites. Remember, every piece of information you reveal can be used to build a profile of you. Use strong and unique passwords. This should go without saying, but use strong, unique passwords for all your online accounts. Consider using a password manager to help you generate and store your passwords securely. Staying anonymous online is an ongoing process, requiring constant vigilance and adaptation. By following these tips and staying informed about the latest threats, you can minimize your digital footprint and protect your privacy in an increasingly intrusive online world. Section 9. Locking down your digital fort VPNs and password hygiene. Remember that digital fortress we talked about? Well, even the most impenetrable fortresses need extra layers of security. Two essential tools in your privacy arsenal are virtual private networks, or VPNs, and good password hygiene. Think of a VPN as a secret tunnel for your internet traffic. It encrypts your data and routes it through a secure server, making it nearly impossible for anyone to snoop on your online activity. It's like sending a postcard in an unbreakable safe. VPNs are especially useful when connecting to public Wi-Fi networks, which are notorious for being security nightmares. Now let's talk passwords. We all know we should be using strong, unique passwords for every online account, but let's be honest, who can remember dozens of random character strings? That's where password managers come in. These handy tools generate and store all your passwords in an encrypted vault, accessible with a single master password. It's like having a digital keychain for all your online accounts. Together, VPNs and password managers act like the guards and moats of your digital fortress, adding extra layers of protection and giving you peace of mind while you navigate the treacherous waters of the Internet. Section 10. Privacy is a right, not a privilege reclaiming your digital freedom. Let's be clear. Seeking privacy online isn't about hiding something nefarious. It's about reclaiming our fundamental right to privacy, a right that's increasingly under threat in our hyper-connected world. Think about it. Every website you visit, every search you make, every message you send is tracked, analyzed, and potentially exploited. This data is used to target us with ads, manipulate our behavior, and even influence our thoughts. It's a level of surveillance that would make Orwell blush. But here's the good news. We're not powerless. By using tools like anonymous operating systems, VPNs, and password managers, we can take back control of our digital lives. We can choose what information we share, who we share it with, and how it's used. Privacy is not a luxury. It's a fundamental human right. It's about protecting our freedom of thought, expression, and association. It's about creating a digital world where we can explore, connect, and communicate without fear of surveillance or judgment. Section 11. Your journey to anonymity begins now. Take the first step. So, there you have it, your crash course in the world of anonymous operating systems. We've covered a lot of ground from the importance of digital privacy to the intricacies of Tails and Hoonix. But remember, knowledge is only powerful when it's put into action. Don't let the fear of the unknown hold you back. Take that first step. Download Tails, install Wonix, or explore other privacy-focused options. Experiment with different tools, learn as you go, and find what works best for you. Remember, the Internet doesn't have to be a surveillance state. We can reclaim our digital freedom, one anonymous connection at a time. Your journey to anonymity begins now. Take the first step and join the fight for a more private and secure digital world.